if you make hip hop, trap, EDM, or any other style of music that is very bass heavy, you probably use 808s. And if you use Logic Pro 10, the recent update just made it so much easier to tune 808s. My name is El Marquis, musician, rapper, record producer, unashamed craftsman lover, and today I am going to teach you how to quickly tune your 808s in Logic Pro 10. El Recently, Apple put out Logic Pro 10.5. This new update came with tons of new and useful features. Today, I want to focus on one of my new favorite features, Logic's Quick Sampler plugin. We're going to use this plugin to quickly tune an 808. But before we do this, I need you to do me a really quick favor. If you like seeing videos where I break down my creative process, if you like tutorials on Logic Pro 10, if you're an artist or a producer who likes getting advice on how they can take their career more seriously, and if you just enjoy really good music, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like this. So now we're going to switch over to the computer so I can show you how to tune your 808s in Logic Pro 10. So in Logic Pro 10.5, there came a lot of new, cool, and very useful features. The one that we're going to focus on today is the quick sampler. So in order to tune your 808, the first thing you need to do is find an 808 that you want to use, click on it, drag it into this column right here, go to quick sampler optimized, and bam, your 808 is actually already tuned. Quick Sampler will take whatever sample you import into it and find the note that is playing. The majority of the time is pretty accurate. I did notice that a couple times the sample that I imported was off by one or two notes. So in order to make sure that we're playing in the correct key, go down to audio effects, go to metering, go to tuner. And now we're going to play the C note on your MIDI keyboard. And as you can see from the tuner, it's lighting up as C, which means that this 808 is in the correct pitch. And now the next thing that you need to do is go down to amp, go to polyphony, and go to mono. Because unless you're playing some really obscure genre of music, you typically don't want your 808 to be playing multiple notes. You usually don't play chords with 808s. So now switching the polyphony to mono ensures that you're not playing any chords. So I just tried playing a chord on my MIDI controller just to confirm this and is only playing one note at a time. So if you already like how your sample sounds, that's it, you're done right there. That's all you have to do. But if you want to shape the sound differently, if you think it's missing something and you wanna make it sound more interesting, you can go over here to pitch and then you can turn the glide up to whatever sounds cool to you and that'll make the 808s glide into each other. I know a lot of drill producers will be happy about that. Also, you can go down to this filter section right here and you can play with different filters, maybe add some distortion. Or you can go down here and mess with the ADSR settings of your sample. But like I said, if you already liked how it was sounding before, then you don't have to mess with any of these settings. If you're someone who's into sound design and you know how to use all those features, then have fun with it. Another really cool thing about Quick Sampler is that anytime you import a sample into it, it'll actually turn it down for you. So when you play it, it gives you tons of headroom so that when you go to mix it later on, it's not clipping, it's not distorting, and that's a real time saver for me right there. And the cool thing about Quick Sampler is that it's not exclusive to 808s. If you have tonal one shots, you can also load those into Quick Sampler. It'll find the root note of your sample. The only other thing that you would do if, let's say you wanna play chords with it, you go down to amp, you go down to polyphony, and then you click one of these numbers so that you can play chords with it. And that's all there is to it. It's really quick, really easy to tune an 808 in this new Logic Pro 10 update. So to quickly recap what we did, we found an 808 sample that we wanna use. We dragged it into Logic Pro 10's quick sampler. It already tuned it for us. And if you wanna make sure that it's in the correct tuning, you go down to audio effects and look for your tuner. Then you go down to your amp and you change the polyphony to mono and then you're good to go. But if you're into sound design and you wanna shape your sample even more, you can mess with the different filters, the glides, and your ADSR settings. Really quick, really easy, and now you just learned how to tune an 808 in Logic Pro 10. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you've seen today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload new videos. Also be sure to visit my website, lmarqueeproductions.com, where you'll be able to check out my music, my beats, my sample kits, my merchandise, and my mixing, mastering, and consulting services. Now go down in the comment section below and let me know 
Do you have any more questions about Logic's quick sampler plugin or tuning 808s in general? The content that I usually post is either me breaking down my songwriting or beat making process, as well as advice to other artists and producers. And this is actually the first Logic Pro 10 specific tutorial that I dropped on the channel. So if there's anything else that you want me to break down, leave that in the comment section below. My name is El Marquis, El Marquis Productions. God bless.